everyone, welcome to Kurami UHC Season 3, organized by me and Ember. This season we'll be using the color grey. Grey stands for Paranoia, Worried and Afraid. The game will be a free-for-all, permanent, custom terrain, anonymous, everyone will be disguised as zombies, fire refusing and zombie color. Only zombies will spawn as hostile mobs and have certain drop rates. If you want to know more about the game modes, you can look it up on the post or do slash UHC. There will be a ruined village at 00 which you can't get loot in. And here are some features. Um, fire spec and flame will be off. The nether will be off. We'll be using fast melting in this season and end up with damage is one heart. Um, we would like to thank Leon for the server and the game modes, etc. And Clack for the team speak. Also, um, Dahi Nash for helping us build the zero zero. Now and I will introduce the players. the players. Hello, okay. We've got Winter Waffle, Walrus Time, Underscore Glenn, okay, thanks, bye. Disco, who is known as Who's Haze, Galaxy Chickens, any more here? Okay. Dyslexic, wait, why aren't you on Bade? Okay, Dyslexic Dan, who's known as underscore Bade. Tony, Flame. And then, got, it's Isaac, also MacD, Leon CG. Thin White Male, or Thin, as you would say now. Simply Sam, and myself and Spood. I think that's it, right? Okay, yeah. Antonin98, how can I forget him? <laughs> <laughs> season three uh now we have all the colors of the rainbow to choose and ember decided to go with gray <laughs> so this the gray is meant to represent paranoia or worriedness <laughs> or afraidness so for that our game modes this time will be parafusion which is kind of like paranoia, but a teeny bit more complicated. Uh, it shouldn't show who mines ores, and it shouldn't show who like heals and stuff. Oh, permanent. Okay, uh, it's detailed world as you can see with all the um, all the stuff everywhere, and uh, everything's a zombie. Well, I'm not a zombie. For one, I'm I'm a real boy. But all hostile mobs are zombies, and see, they won't aggro on you. Ooh, a village, a village. Oh, there's a blacksmith there. Hell yeah, and it looks like there's a book house too. Okay, hopefully I can get a good start. I mean, oh, ep1 enchanting table, question mark. Okay, there's some chickens here too, so I should be able to get some arrows. But uh, let's run in here real quick. I've got a nice anvil. Actually, I'm probably mine a bit of stone, what that I get? An iron sword and three apples. That's not very good, but it'll do. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Let's just make a stone pick real quick. I'll just make all my stone tools. So I need seven, because I've already got a sword. Badoop. I should need to make more sticks. Let's also make a button as well. Fuck it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Let's get that. And let's get that. Okay, so this is a good start. Uh, oh, yes. There's two book houses. Lovely jubbly. What's this guy offering me? 23 emeralds for punch two. Now, do I want to do that? I think I do in all honesty. Actually, nah. 
40 nanometers of respiration too. It's not really worth it. Bye, Mr. Fletcher. Okay, I'm gonna go kill like all of these cows around here. Yeah, that was a good, a nice, nice find. Good start. We've also got a forest, so we can get, we can get trees are chopping very sharpish, which is something I like to do. Holy shit, many cows. Ooh, and a good start to a cave. Ooh, there's glowstone in the cave. Hell yeah. I'm going to keep Fulbright on for this RR. I know I normally don't, but given <laughs> that mobs don't, like, attack, all the zombies won't attack unless provoked, then I can probably just get away with not having to use torches. Oh, one more cow would be a lovely jubbly. Any more for any more? Doesn't look like it. Oh well, let's over to that forest. Oh, more cows. Heck yes. I'm not sure if I'm a, I'm a fan of some of this detail build stuff. Like the clay looks good and the cobblestone, but like the random like planks everywhere. I know. I'm just not a fan to be honest. Oh yeah. So uh, hi, newcomer to Chroma. <laughs> um. Oh, go. Someone crafted a gapple already. That's kind of near me. Okay, that's probably enough. It's actually heading towards them, and I don't really want to do that. Let's head back this way. So yeah, uh, I'm not expecting to do too much this season, because look at this roster. We have people like Glenn, Simply Sam, Flam, Bade, Galaxy, who can all just destroy me. I will not smash... Isaac, for I am not a pedophile. Age <laughs> is just a number and a concept. And prison is just a room. This cobblestone is going to trick me into thinking there's like dungeons all the time. That's, I'm totally going to get fucked out about that uh, in caves. Fuck off, Isaac. <laughs> That's it. Isaac is probably one of the few people around I'm like confident of killing. Winther is another. Maybe Antonin. Or Orson MacD. I don't know. I'm not very good <laughs> at Minecraft. Everyone else is a lot better than me. I wonder what app rates are. I think they're 1%, so I should be able to get a decent amount of apples quite easily and also a bit of start iron. See this game's fast melting. The first time I've used fast melting in RR in an RR. I think I like it. Oh, is that zombie going for me? No, he's just having a walk about. Might attack him anyways just cause. Ooh, lots of apples very early on, that's what I like to see. So with because it's all mobs will spawn as zombies and I'll have well that's not a very good demonstration because <laughs> zombies drop um, rotten flesh anyways, but the zombies have like a chance to drop all the all the mob drops, so let me just get the table up here, string is a 50% chance, rotten flesh 20, bones 15, arrows 10, spider eyes 4, and uh, ender pills 1. Now in the test game, fun little test game story here, uh, the the um, percentages were broken, so ender pills had an 11 drop rate, so I went, like, I only came for about 20 minutes and I still had about 10 ender pills so they they were really useful i kind of wish they'd kept it on to be honest because i think it would have been a interesting sort of direction for the round but that's just me and i can understand that it was quite broken <laughs> yeah so the detailed world some people have it some people don't i was lucky enough to spawn uh part of the world that has detail because I, I like I want to see it. Oh, Isaac took damage on oh, no, half hearts, probably fighting a zombie. That's one of the things 
that's um, going to be quite interesting is if you're low health, PvE kind of stops being an issue unless you're clumsy and just fall into lava or something. Actually, I'm gonna. Oh, I already have finished the donor. Um, let's just chuck all these in there. I know it works with things. We were told that it might not work with things that like aren't coal, which I completely forgot about right up until I uh, placed that. Let's rearrange my inventory real quick. But no, it appears to be working fine, which is amazing. So, whilst I will have a lot of coal, I use water, not water, um, wood for my backup fuel source most games, just in case I'm not having great luck, or if I can't be fucked to mine. Do I want to chop down? Yeah, let's chop down a couple more trees. Let's get these ones up here. So my goal this season is to uh, not die first. <laughs> uh, maybe get a kill. I see someone. Someone's already found diamonds. It's Glenn. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I do not really want to be around Glenn. He's probably the, one of the best players in this round. I'll just do one last sweep of this area before heading away. Doesn't look like there's any more apples. Oh, sea count is allowed. Hell yeah. Has someone found eight gold. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna head this way. I'm gonna head towards the village. Just to get away from Glenn. Also to kind of get away from the person who made the the gap early on, because they probably found a temple. Uh, I'll keep that chicken on me just whilst I, before I find a cave. Someone found six diamonds. Jesus Christ, slow down. Not everyone's good at caving. Ooh, you nearly didn't take knockback there. Uh, more rotten flesh. Is that a surface cave? Is it? <laughs> the two people have run into a Glen and Walrus. Okay. Uh, let's just run this way. More diet. Like, okay, this is just going to make me look like such a shit caver. I can already tell. I'm gonna go look for a surface cave like over there. Ood bait took damage, hell yeah. Please don't say that's another person. Okay, no, it's just the ocean. Let's like run over here. Okay, armor shows apparently. That's good. Let's just jump in right here. This site that's gonna be annoying. Maybe that's gonna be one downside of caving in a detailed world. Okay, I'm getting entities below, so it looks like I've chosen a good place to dig down. Maybe should have blocked actually I might go back up and just block this with andesite. So I don't get followed. Boop, there we go. No one will know. Dig down. There are still entities and sea values, so ignore the the organizer disagreement <laughs> going on in chat behind, uh, down the bottom of the screen. Someone crafting an enchant table. <sighs> what we've, we've been playing for thirteen minutes.
Okay, I'm going to start like properly staircasing now. I'm actually going to turn my game sounds up a bit. I hear, a <laughs> I hear a zombie. What else am I going to hear? 113 zombies. Hopefully this is a mine shaft. No, but it is a ravine. A spider eye. Interesting. Stop running away from me. There we go. Bone. There's gold over there. That's good. And some string. Good. I might actually keep Andesite just on my boss to block up with. Because if I'm be if I'm in a cave fight, Andesite would be a good way to get out of a sticky situation quite fast because people won't sort of dig into it. They'll be looking for cobblestone and things like that. Also, I'm not going to go out and like actively mine Andesite. I'll keep it anyways. Is the, the cave like go down over here? Oh, Winther died. <laughs> GG Winther. Well, I'm not first. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. Well, at least it wasn't me. I feel so bad for Winther, but at least it wasn't me. Okay, let's make a. Uh furnace real quick. Okay. Oh, poor Winther. Flatten took damage too. I'll keep this actually next no, pods are off so there's no point in um and I'm keeping spider eyes. So I just found two diamonds, more sticks, and a pick. And all of this jazz, and ooh, let's get a lava bucket. So I still need uh, boots. Okay, let's go back over and pick up this gold. Ooh, chicken jockey! Chicken jockey drop string. Hell yeah. Now, in the test game, I had terrible luck with um, string. Aw, oh, poor Winther. Newcomer and dead within 15 minutes. All right, okay, this is a vein of two gold. Let me get some iron. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Oh, well. I mean, there's nothing I can really do about it. Oh, first damage. <laughs> okay. That was bad. There's like nether brick and soul sand here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to smelt up my food because that's the thing about thing like fast smelting gamers and gamers that aren't quickly and I always forget to smelt up all my food. So let's just pop these right down here. Um... Let's just wait for that to reset, and there we go. I'm also going to make a rod while I'm here. Let's move the gold back off my bar. And I'll craft an enchant table. Man, I'm so slow. Okay, I need to make the boots now. I thought I was doing well with my apples and my furnace. I suppose I do have 42 books. So I might, if I find diamonds, might go for like a shop through a shop for dyer. Hell yeah. Okay, let's pick these furnaces back up. And go back to exploring the cave. Actually, I don't think that goes anywhere. Oh, why am I doing that? I can just extinguish everything. Yeah, I quite like the detailed terrain in the caves, actually. Ooh, I keep thinking that the mine shaft. Okay, I found five gold, though. That's not too bad. Got some lapis too, so when I find diamonds, well, if I find diamonds, I'll be able to get and trying to use all my books up. Oh, let's just 
organize my inventory. Yeah, I'm an inventory Hitler when it comes to like keeping things organized. I can't have a messy inventory. Oh, I don't want that. Actually, I should keep picking up iron just so I don't have to make a mad dash once I have an enchanted hill to get an anvil. Also, so I've got some backup in case my pick breaks or something. So this, this game mode, as you can probably tell, was inspired by xenophobia with the whole, like, players are zombies kind of thing. Maybe we'll actually see, like, a customizable plugin now that, like, you can change what you find. Ooh, seven gold. I appreciate that. Okay, so I get C values this way. Okay, I no longer get C values this way. <laughs> that lasted long. I should also keep picking up coal. I'm really bad at like caving when it's non car clean just because I'm so used to so used to the new meta. Oh Leon's at five and a half. Interesting. Ooh, more gold. Six gold. Hell yeah. I don't wanna end up just being a meal on wheels. I want to actually like try and do something, or at least put up a fight, rather than just giving however many gaps I have to the first person I fight. Like how most public games go for me. And these are the kind of people I die to in public games, which is why it does not bode well. Oh, that person's quite near me. I think that's Bade. I don't really want to cave fight him, especially if I'm unenchanted, because I'll probably lose. Oh, end of ep one. See you next time for episode two.